There have been bigger crowds at libraries and attractions on day one of Singapore's phased COVID-19 reopening. The capacity limit at these places is now 50 percent, twice the maximum allowed during phase two heightened alert. As Alif Amshar reports, there are extensive measures in place to reduce the risk of transmission. I'm here at the National Library and for the past month it was only allowed to operate at 25% capacity. But as Singapore begins to ease some of its COVID-19 restrictions, more people are allowed to enter the premises. Dwell time limits on weekdays have also been removed, giving visitors more time to read or study. But on weekends, it's a different story for now. For regional libraries like the ones at Jurong and Woodlands, visits are limited to three hours while it's two hours for other public libraries. And there's more. We are rolling out additional measures to improve the ventilation and indoor air quality. For example, we will be replacing the AHU filters with higher filtration uh, efficiency and purging the indoor air with extended air circulation. Areas like book written points and borrowing stations will also be disinfected more frequently. I'm glad that now libraries have preventive measures to protect visitors like me and that gives me a greater peace of mind. I miss going to the library a lot and with the ease of measures, I'm able to go, with, go to the library with my friends. There were more people at the Sea Aquarium as well, with larger group sizes now allowed. It's a blessing to be out here with my family and it's really nice, we get to enjoy ourselves outside. Today is my son's 21st birthday, so this actually came as a wonderful birthday surprise that we could come out in groups of five. Um, I feel quite excited because at the same time I get to go out with my family um, and then I get to see more of my friends. We are better equipped in terms of knowing what um, items should be prepared whenever we change from different phases, be it whether is it from a capacity standpoint or that if we see bigger crowd, the active deployment of um, safe distancing ambassador so that we can better manage the experience. But one expert says attractions must learn to diversify its offerings, like going digital. Of course, not all attractions can do that which is where we will now need to consider which attractions can do, uh, be able to provide this hybrid digital experience and which can't. And those who can't may now need to consider as in their product renewal, how do we now instill or incorporate those digital experiences. More restrictions, including dining in at eateries, may be eased next Monday.